Good morning and welcome to day number four here at Supersport Park. It's the first test match between South Africa and England. The final innings of the test match, England looking to chase down a score, a rather huge score. 376 is what they were set and they require 255 more. Did well yesterday. In the opening partnership putting on 92 Sibley and Burns and Burns has gone to 77, 77 not out overnight. Key man must st start again and we'll hope that Denley can stay with him for some time and the rest of their order can get those 255 more required to win. Off the edge, squared him up. But four runs. Shot. Oh, yes, what a shot. Fantastic. Cries of catch it. This should be taken. It's comfortably taken. That is an important wicket. That is a big wicket for South Africa. Nokia into the attack, and he's done it. Burns has played well, but he's got to go. First wicket of the day. Burns played nicely. 84, 139 for two. Didn't know where that was. He had no idea, nor care. It didn't matter, I don't think, too much. Good stroke. Not for the first time. Denley into position quickly. You can't bowl there with that field. Root is excellent off the back foot through the offside. That's LBW, has to be. Yes, it does. Well, at the far end, Root is just signalling to Joe Denley that he thinks it might be sliding down, so don't be surprised if Denley reviews. That's clipping. I think it's Bang. clipping too, yeah. Yep, it's the wicket they wanted. Now he's done for 31. He be proud of his efforts, 158 for three. It's a really good shot. The control was outstanding there from Root. That's a wonderful way to start after the break. Well, that's cracked away. Very good shot in front of Square. Nicely played by Root. He plays that so well. It's nicely worked. Plenty of uh, gaps out there. That's going to go. Nicely timed. Down the hill almost. Another boundary. It's nicely hit by Stokes. Went very quickly for four. Down the ground, open the blade over the top, and he's got four more. Yeah, smart cricket from Stokes. That's uh, short and wide. And it's been hammered for four. So that's a very good over for England. Brings up the 200 now for England. 201 for three. Yeah. It's got him. What a comeback. Look at this celebration. Captain will join him very soon, and they are cock a hoop. But the bonus of the inside edge onto the stumps. He's picked up his second of the innings, and the South African captain is stoked. Ben's on his way. 204 for four. Yep. Four ball. Short, wide, and Bearstow can just throw the hands at that. There's the new ball. Shot. Beautifully played. Cut. Off the edge and gone. Double Nelson does it. Rabada. And the swing and the new ball did for Johnny Bearstow, playing away from his body. And Johnny Bairstow goes on the verge of drinks. It's 222 for five. Beautiful timing. No danger of the bottom hand taking over there. So oh, classic, classic back cut. One from the history books. Yes! 
Noyes and a catch and the finger as well. He struck again. He came into the attack earlier today, picked up a really important wicket, and now he has got a huge wicket. Root goes for 48. You can see the frustration. 232 for six. Nokia now. Catch. Finds that little gap in between the gully and the third slip and goes for four. Well, that's solid. That's a very good shot indeed from Butler. That's beautifully played. Short delivery, two men back. It's not going to bother uh, Butler too much. He just pounds out for six. Slice that away. Over the top, back with a square, goes for four. There's a nick and another catch and another wicket. Rabada has struck again. Curran is now on his way, so this is really good work with the second new ball from South Africa. The dangerous Curran goes for nine. 251 for seven. He's away, off the mark. Chases on. Hamza it is. And he assists over the rope. Dawson takes the catch. Norkia has picked up another wicket. Revenge for Norkia. It's a really good performance by South Africa now. They've got their eighth. Archer gone. England eight down. South Africa two wickets away. Norkia again. Short delivery first up, I guess, which is uh, generally what happens these days. Hitting the pitch really hard. It climbed on broad and... Whether that was glove, visor, maybe a combination of. Stepping aside and just whipping that away out of the middle. It's gone high. Who's getting underneath that one? Catch has been taken, Pretorius it is. That's the ninth now. Another wicket this time to Rabada. He's now got three in the second dig. And they are just one wicket away now as Jimmy Anderson makes that long, lonely walk down the steps. Yeah. Pull him! Rabada with a fourth. South Africa with victory. England, 268 all out. It's a sweet victory for South Africa after five losses on the bounce. Means a whole lot in a new chapter. This then is the summary of this first test match. South Africa put in, got 284, courtesy Quinton de Kock. It's 95 runs off 128 balls. Curran was good, very good, four for 58. England in their first innings, 181 all out. Vernon Philander, surgical with his precision with the new ball, four for 16 and miserly as well. Then in the second inning, South Africa 272 just went further and further ahead. A first half century in Test match cricket on debut for Rossi van der Dessen. Five wickets for Jofra Archer, who's getting back in terms of form. England held and held with South Africa, probing 268 to allow South Africa by 107. Faf, that's got to be pleasing for you in so many ways. Yeah, we needed that, Hazy. Um, obviously, the last couple of months as a test team has been tough for us, um, but we worked really hard on this week building up to the test and I thought it was a very, very good test match. Uh, two teams fighting really hard all the way um, and today's effort was incredible just by a making sure we can keep that rate down all the time and then investing and the wickets came towards the end. You had a chance to go upstairs to the change room, I bet you've got a pretty happy uh, coach up there. Got a happy everyone, uh, Hazy. Um, I haven't won a test match in a while so um, as I said, for us, it's it's the start of, of of a new chapter. We want to make sure we we improving as a test team again. We want to go um, up to better things again. Um, and and this is just a start. We know that's going to be a long journey to get there, but we'll make sure we keep holding on, working hard, and putting in the right things. Let's just look at a couple of specifics. Uh, Vernon Philander in that first inning was just quite ridiculous. Yeah, the bowling this whole test match was very good. Um, but I thought yes, like that first test, uh, the first day or two. Um, I actually thought day one and two was probably the most in it for the bowlers. Um, both teams bowled really well. 
And then yesterday when the clouds came out and the wicket got a bit slow, was probably the best day to the bat. And even today, you know, the sun generally at Supersport Park makes it go up and down and that's when it gets at its hardest. And I thought the last two days was better for batting. And, and the bowling to come through the way that it did in the last two days, as I said, to, to keep a, a very, very strong England team to 26 for pretty much the whole day means that we, we did the basics really well, uh, made sure that they didn't go anywhere. Our plan was to just keep it tight, keep it tight, and, and, and hoping that the new ball will do the talk, and, and that's what happened. Yeah, it must be nice for you to have the likes of Rabada and Nokia to take that second new ball. Yeah, I, I thought Anrik Nokia was really good. Um, obviously, we expect that from KG. He's, he's a world-class performer, performer for us. But Anrik in his first um, test at home, you know, probably not someone that you would think that has got a lot of control. We know he's got a lot of pace, um, but I thought he bowled with great control, executed the right lengths to different batters uh, and bowled with some real good pace as well. So real good signs for the test team moving forward. Obviously, we've lost quite a few bowlers and Vern um, deciding that he uh, wants to go move on to greener pastures. Um, we, need, we need new bowlers to step up to the... To the to the platform now, you know, we've had Mourne and Dale and the guys like that, KG step up um, when there was old bowlers batting at the time and now we're going to need one or two more to come to the fort. OK, time for me now to announce the man of the match as adjudicated by the commentators and uh, it didn't take us long actually to come up with the name, Quinton de Kock. Quinton will receive his uh, trophy from Tobacco. Quinton scored 95, six catches, a record six catches in the first innings, 34 in no time. And eight catches overall was two in the second dig. But let's just uh, talk about the start of this game. I mean, you came with the crease four down, not that many on the board, so it was a little bit of a tricky situation. You played your natural game, but it didn't take you long to take control. Yeah, well, I think obviously the situation, I had to walk in out to understand how I was going to go about things. Um, I thought um, they bowled actually very well in that wicket and they didn't make us struggle. Um, but, you know, it's just nice to get out there and contribute some runs, especially when the team's a bit of a tough situation. And, yeah, no, just happy that we got over the line. And important also those 95 runs. You missed out on 100, which is most unfortunate for you. But 95 runs in that first innings. I mean, that's just a, just a natural game. You know, you, some people were thinking, OK, maybe you're not going to play that. You're going to play a little bit differently. But, no, you just wanted to play a natural game and get on with it. Well, look, to be honest, when I, when I went out there, I was thinking I should leave well and, and, you know, get into that sort of rhythm. But I think it was just, uh, I just went with what was ever was going at the moment. Um, you know, my, my mind was doing all sort of things to me. I just wanted to get going and just find a rhythm and then just stick to the rhythm. That was all. Oh, awesome. Absolutely.